So you watched the previous video. And if you haven't, here's the link in the top right corner and in the description below. Learned about the five different personalities, their strong, positive characteristics, what makes them tick and thrive at work. You also did the questionnaire. So you are here to find out more about your shadow side or the one of your colleagues. This is the video about this little minifigure, Mr. Be Perfect. His problem-solving skills are next to none, but it takes unpredictably long. Excessive checking takes time. Outlining all these scenarios takes time. Also, his do-it-once, do-it-right attitude means that nobody gets a draft version. Ever. So there's very little room for others to comment or contribute ideas. Not particularly collaborative. He expects others to share and adhere to the same perfect values, but he always gets disappointed. Hence, Mr. Be Perfect finds it rather hard to delegate, hard to trust, and hard to play with the other kids in their less-than-perfect sandbox. During times of change, Mr. Be Perfect struggles the most. He expected his bulletproof mitigation plans to cover every eventuality. Besides, look at these amazing slides, a huge gun chart, in fact, predicting every microstep of the way. However, he gets really unsettled when the safety of his plan-driven approach vanishes due to the inherent unpredictability and messiness of change. While exploring different avenues, of course he favours the Rolls-Royce option, discarding any ideas coming from others as substandard. If you are like Mr. Be Perfect, take a deep breath. Relax and accept that human beings, including us, are by design imperfect. Also accept, embrace even, the uncertain side of change. No plan can fill the void. No plan can mitigate the fact that people are unpredictable. Taking calculated risks, calculated enough, and learning from the process is an important step an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to improve and grow. Also, spending more time listening to others, rather working on the perfect plan, may give you some inspiration on what needs to be done next. Accept that change should be evolutionary, that plans can be good enough with enough details. Plans that tick some boxes for now and this makes space for co-creation and co-emergence, two very important factors to minimize resistance to change. And here's a kind note to yourself, for you to repeat in your mind. It's okay to be yourself. Rather striving to be the perfect version of yourself, embrace who you are now and aim for little improvements. Because, as one famous person said, if you don't love yourself, how on earth are you going to love somebody else? Knowing your drivers, your working styles, and how you may react under pressure at times of change may be invaluable. This conscious awareness of the reasons behind the strong emotions, what triggers them, as well as knowing your strong points and your shadow side gives you more choice to slow down, reflect in the moment and perhaps act differently. Because knowing yourself better is power. And as always, thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe for more. That'd be lovely. Till the next one, I'm Lazarus Wolf. Take care.